guys, this is Jeff from I Want That Sound. Hey, I um, just wanted to run you through how to install the presets into Native Instruments Battery. We get a lot of emails with guys having trouble just uh, getting this working. So there's, um, it's pretty straightforward, but I guess there's a couple of things that are a little confusing. So let's just run through it and then uh, you should be up and running in no time. Okay, so we've found that doing this in standalone mode works more reliably than doing it in plug-in mode for some reason. So we're just gonna stick with that. So I've opened battery in standalone mode and I just want you to confirm that you're on the latest build. We do everything on the latest build so that uh, moving forward we get maximum future compatibility for our users. So we're on 4.15.254, that's the latest current uh, edition of battery. So if you're having trouble, that would be the first place to start is to up, update to the latest version. Okay, so to add a pack to battery, we click on here, we go to the preferences, bam, we hit the library tab. It'll probably look like factory tab when you first go there, but here we go, here's the user tab, and we want to add cinematic pop to our library. Okay, so we're going to hit add, we're going to navigate to the folder. For me, that is inside this folder, cinematic pop, TS cinematic pop deluxe. We're going to go to this level. We can see the preset folder, but if I do it at this level, I know it'll see the samples as well. So let's hit choose. Right, that'll show up here in our list. We click here to add the alias, which is all caps with no spaces, cinematic pop. Let's make sure we've done that correctly. Yes, and then I hit rescan. Boom, it'll find a bunch of stuff and add it. We can hit close at that point. Okay, now at the moment we're viewing the factory uh, libraries um, and we wanna see the user libraries because that stuff we've added ourselves, so hit that. Okay, now we've got some stuff over here. That's a good result. If we hit that sound, we'll see a tag for cinematic pop. Okay, now we're seeing the all samples and the kits, and we can choose between those. And so now we can load those up, double click that, boom, there you go, you're up and running. So it's as simple as that. I know that uh, a few guys have had trouble with it. I think mostly it's just due to not being on the latest version. But please, if you do run into any other trouble with getting it going, please feel free to email us at, uh, you can hit me personally if you like, it's Jeff, G E O F F, at IWantThatSound.com. Happy to help you get up and running. Um, the stuff sounds killer, so we're very excited to hear what you do with it. So with that in mind, please uh, make sure you check in on Instagram from time to time, see what the boys are up to, see what we're working on, um, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you. Please show us uh, what you're doing with the sounds. Um, it's very exciting for us to hear where people are taking their projects and using these sounds and uh, in ways that we would never think of so that, that's really awesome so thanks again for watching if you have any trouble please get in touch talk to you soon thanks a lot